The Bible isn't just a book of random stories. It's 66 different books that come together to tell one story. An incredible about God's love for us. And now for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17. While Saul was king, God's people faced many enemies. When the Philistines challenged, Saul gathered his own army to march out and meet them. The two armies camped on opposite hills across the valley of Ella, and each morning and evening, the Philistines sent out a big hulking man named Goliath to challenge the Israelites. Hey, you pigs! I dare you to send a man to fight me! The Israelites shook in fear at the sight of Goliath's heavy spear. If your man fights me and wins, we'll be your slaves. But if I crush him like a cockroach, you'll be our slaves. <sighs> it was too much for the Israelites. All of them scattered, including three men from Bethlehem, Jesse's eldest sons, Eliab, Abinadab, and Shammah. That monster isn't even human. He's a giant. No soldier could fight him. No army could fight him. Meanwhile, their younger brother David had stayed behind in Bethlehem to watch their father's sheep. What, you want me to sing to you? But after the brothers had been gone for more than a month, Jesse called for David. Take bread and cheese and grain to your brothers in the camp. See how they're doing and come back to tell me. I'm on it, Dad. Early the next morning, David gathered up the food supplies and headed for the army camp. He arrived just as the soldiers were taking battle positions on each side. Oh, wow, just in time for some action. David hurried alongside the Israelite line until he found his brothers. Hey, Dad wants to know how it's going. You guys done any fighting yet? Who's winning? What's- Shh, chill out, okay? Just shut your mouth. Silence, sheep boy. Just then, Goliath stepped out from the Philistine line as usual and issued his challenge. Hey, you pickled toads. I dare you to send a man to fight me. Who does this guy think he is, talking to God's people like that? David turned for an answer, but all around him, Israelite soldiers were fleeing in panic, including David's brothers. David hurried to catch up with a few stragglers. Goliath is putting God's people to shame. Who does he think he is? Somebody's gotta stop this. Eliab overheard David. Why did you even come, you little pipsqueak? You just wanna sit around and watch. What have I done? Can I even say anything? King Saul heard about the things David was saying and sent for him. So you think Goliath is putting us to shame? Don't let anyone lose hope because of that Philistine. I'll fight him. Oh, <laughs> you? Oh, you're far too young. You think watching sheep is easy? Sometimes a lion or bear tries to steal one away. I grab it by the hair and strike it down. I've killed a lion and a bear, and I could take down this Philistine. The Lord has saved me before, and he'll save me again. King Saul was impressed. And frankly, he was just happy to have a volunteer. Go, may the Lord be with you. Oh, and these 92 pounds of armor and weapons. Saul tried to weigh down David with his own battle gear, heavy armor, a bronze helmet, and a sword like a weighty tree branch. Oof. David staggered around, trying to get used to the weight. I can't go out there like this. <sighs> David shrugged off the armor and dropped the heavy sword. Then he picked up his own wooden staff and he hurried down to the stream and chose five smooth stones. There, all set. David clutched his slingshot with sweaty hands and hurried out to the hillside where Goliath towered, mocking God's people. He laughed when he saw the young shepherd boy crossing the valley. You think I'm only a dog? Sticks and stones won't break my bones. Come, let me feed you to the wild animals. As David grew closer, Goliath loomed taller, blocking out the entire sky. David took a deep breath and shouted out. You're coming to fight me with weapons, but I'm coming against you in the name of the Lord. He will give me the victory. Then the whole world will know there is a God in Israel. The battle belongs to the Lord. You, you, Wobbly need platypus! Enraged, Goliath thundered down the hill to meet David, who sprinted forward. Reaching into his bag, he took out a stone and slipped it into the slingshot. Here goes. 
Whipping the sling around, David fired off the stone. It hurled through the air, landing smack dab on Goliath's forehead. Mighty hulk of a man. Staggered forward, swayed, and fell to the earth. As soon as the Philistines saw that their hero was dead, they turned and ran. Get away! Get out of here! Shouting, the Israelites raced forward. With renewed courage, they scattered the Philistines to utter defeat. David had helped God's people win the battle, not with weapons or a huge army, but with God's power and the unique gifts God had given him.